A study by Markets and Markets showed that no-code and low-code development is growing exponentially quickly. In fact, in 2020, the market was worth $13.2 billion, but that's expected to go to $45.2 billion in 2025. And so in this video, I'm gonna break down the 10 reasons why no-code is the future of app development. I'm gonna be giving you examples along the way as well. So make sure to check it out all the way to the end. Welcome back to the startup studio, everyone. I'm Christian Peverelli, the founder and CEO at We Are No Code. We teach non-technical entrepreneurs how to launch their businesses and get their first paying customers without writing a single line of code. Okay, so before jumping into it, what is no code? So no code is visual programming. It's a way to build software without having to write a single line of code. So it's kind of like building with building blocks of code. So there's code behind everything, but you just don't have to write the individual lines of code. I also like comparing it to creating design in PowerPoint and then creating the kind of logic behind that design in Excel. And these drag and drop builders evolved from only being able to build kind of basic websites and landing pages all the way to being able to build web apps, native apps, as well as progressive web apps. So you can use no code to build things like two-sided marketplaces like Airbnb or apps like Instagram, social networks like Facebook or LinkedIn. You can even build Slack, Zoom, all sorts of things, internal tools. There's just a huge number of things that you can actually build. So yes, the rise of these new tools is very exciting. But now let's talk about the 10 reasons why it's gonna be the future of app development in general. So the first reason is faster development time. Now, when you're building with no code, it can take 90% less time to build software than it would if you were writing custom code, which means that you can launch faster and be ahead of your competition, but also, it gives you the ability to be able to iterate quickly. So for example, Goldman Sachs just used Uncork, a no-code tool, to be able to build an app for its company. And a process that would have usually taken two years of programming actually took them only three months. So building with no code is simply much faster. Number two, no code is incredibly cost effective compared to coding. Why? Well, because in traditional coding, you would have several people working on one project. One person who would build the front end, the other person who would build the back end, someone who would be in charge of the designs, you'd have a product manager in charge of coordinating everyone, and ultimately you'd have to hire all those people to work on one project. Whereas in no-code tools, you can build the front end, the back end, the middleware, the design all in one place and with one individual. So obviously that's gonna cost a lot less money. In fact, the cooperative bank in the UK were able to save two million pounds leveraging no-code tools to build their app instead of going the traditional route. Number three, customization. With no-code tools, you can build software that is specifically customized to your use cases, meaning that you don't have to go for an out-of-the-box solution that might suit your needs 80%. You can literally build exactly what you need and all of the clutter around those additional features will not be bothering you. And by the way, in the comment section, we have a free course teaching you a step-by-step -step to launch a business with no-code. And we also have a program called the No-Code Startup. If you you want to launch your startup idea using these powerful no-code tools. And you'll be able to find both those links inside the description box. Reason number four why no-code is the future of app development is user-friendly. Since these visual programming platforms or these drag and drop builders don't require you to learn how to code, they're incredibly intuitive and they can allow other people who are not part of the programming team to be able to actually build things themselves, which means that software development can also be used by people who are not technical, allowing you to get your coders to focus on the real hard stuff and then empowering your employees to be able to deliver more by learning these powerful no-code tools. Siemens, for example, a multinational conglomerate uses no-code to allow people to create their own customized workflows. Five, no-code tools are collaborative, meaning that they allow several people to work on the same software project at the same time, allowing different specialists to work on the same piece of software at the same time, and better collaboration also means more efficiency. Number six is scalability. No-code tools used to only be able to take small loads of users, and now they can scale to hundreds of thousands of people. So for example, a company called Guiana used a no-code tool called Bubble to build its entire software, and they were able to scale their application to one billion data points per month, one billion. And that's without having to write any code. So these tools used to be relatively limited in terms of scalability, and now they are much more scalable. In fact, there are even backends that you can use to scale them even further. I'm thinking of platforms like Xano or Backendless. Number seven is integrations. You can integrate no-code tools with 
pretty much every other tool out there and you can bring in external information through APIs. If there is no integration that is native to that specific tool, you'll be able to connect via automation tools like Zapier or like Make and you can do that without writing a single line of code. Automate processes, communicate with other sources of information like traffic sources, weather sources that can be pulled into your app. You can even tap into AI algorithms if you'd like and bring them directly inside of your app, including but not limited to ChatGPT and many others. Number eight is accessibility. The power of no code allows people who are non-technical to unleash their own creativity, to build apps, to build websites and all sorts of digital products, including automations. You can imagine how powerful that can be for a generation where 99.7% of the world does not know how to program. And so in a world where everything requires technical skills, be it building a platform, creating automations, but basically working online, it suddenly gives the opportunity for anyone to learn these powerful tools and get ahead of competition. And I'm a huge believer that no code tools can even out the playing field because you can take a couple of months to learn incredibly powerful tools and suddenly have the ability to do twice as much regardless of who you are or where you live, which is incredibly powerful. Now, the ninth reason that no code is the future of app development is based around its versatility. With no code, you have the ability to build all sorts of software. Back in the day, you could only build really basic things and now you can really build a huge number of things. You can build two-sided marketplaces. You can build all sorts of mobile apps, social networks. You can build games. You can build artificial intelligence. You can build productivity apps, CRMs, internal tools for your company. There are just so many things and the use cases are growing every single day. So today you can build about 80% of all software. In the future, you'll be able to probably build 99% of all software leveraging no-code tools. Now number 10, future-proof yourself. In a world where technology is moving at an incredibly fast pace, it's way easier to learn platforms that can get you to your goals quicker, like no-code tools, instead of learning how to code. We are also moving more and more towards a skill-based economy. If you have the skills to do a specific job like build an app, it doesn't matter your background or your university degrees, right? A great example of that is that Google hires a huge number of programmers that have never even graduated high school. In addition, we are in a digital world and everything requires requires some sort of tech skills. So learning no code right now is a huge competitive advantage and no code is only at the beginning of revolutionizing programming. So if you get in now, it's like learning how to program 30 years ago. You were ahead of the curve compared to other programmers. And so this is a great way to get an edge on your competition. Now, just to be clear, we're not at all against coding. All we're saying is that, hey, there's this awesome new opportunity. It's being taken advantage of by programmers like non-technical people. And it's just a more effective way to do certain things. And that's why it's never been a better time to launch a business as a non-technical entrepreneur. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. And those, my friends, are the 10 reasons why no code is the future of app development. See you in the next video. Take care.